We're like changing electric and magnetic fields. You can't have one without the other. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 wholesome Big Bang Theory moments. You're talking to me. I am. Ah. <laughs> and I'm crying for a whole different oh, reason. Yeah. <laughs> For this list, we'll be looking at our favourite pure moments of friendship and love amongst the gang that couldn't help but put a smile on our faces and tingles in our hearts. Because some of these happen during important plot points. A spoiler alert is in effect. If you loved seeing these moments as much as we did, let us know in the comments. Number 10. Sheldon has a beer with Bernadette's father. Throughout the show, we come to learn a lot about the gang's childhoods and families. Among those discoveries is the fact that both Sheldon and Howard's fathers are no longer in their lives. Anyone need a beer? Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> so, does your dad still live in Texas? No, he died when I was 14. When Bernadette's father, Mike, joins them for Thanksgiving, he takes the opportunity to form an unlikely bond with not Howard, but with Sheldon. There you go. Oh, thanks. So if your dad died when you were 14, you were never old enough to have a beer with the man. No, sir. Mike realizes that Sheldon never got to have a beer with his father since the latter died when Sheldon was a teenager and offers him one. This touching moment is a rare one of genuine kindness from Bernadette's stern father, but we can't help but chuckle as Howard gets left out of this bonding opportunity with his father-in-law. I never had a beer with my dad either. <laughs> Do you mind? We're having a moment here. <laughs> Number 9. Raj talks to Penny Sober A running gag through the first half of the series is Raj's inability to talk to women unless he's been drinking. I am talking to you. Hello, Penny. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay, now I just need to make sure I have a Lalita before I meet the grasshopper. Despite this, he forms a meaningful relationship with Lucy, who's also socially anxious. And despite them overcoming obstacles, they ultimately don't end up together. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Sorry, Lucy. Excuse me. Raj, I'm so sorry. Meanwhile, Penny is also dealing with Leonard being away, and she and Raj comfort each other through their loneliness. While they embrace and cry, the wholesome moment becomes even more so when they realize that Raj is talking to her sober for the first time. Oh, I, I, I am unlovable. Oh, that's just the booze talking. <laughs> no, it's not. I haven't had a drink since last night. This moment shows how comfortable he's become with her, having made more progress than he realized, which causes the waterworks to continue for them and for us. You're talking to me. I am. <laughs> and I'm crying for a whole different reason. <laughs> Number 8. Penny's Box of Memories Penny and Leonard's relationship has its ups and downs throughout the series, but they also have their fair share of meaningful moments. Listen to me, you are the one I'm with. You know I love you, so will you please relax because you're driving me crazy! Who could forget when Penny finally tells Leonard she loves him in the middle of an argument? Or when they have a second wedding ceremony with their family and friends? But our favorite uplifting moment between these two is when Penny buys what she believes is a thoughtful gift, only to be reminded that Leonard had already purchased it for himself. We were at the used bookstore together and I saw the first edition and I bought it. <laughs> Oh my god, I am the worst! No, it's okay, it's really thoughtful. No! She shows him instead that she'd saved everything he'd given her, from a plane ticket to a rose, proving that she's more romantic than she knows. All 11 pages of it! <laughs> I can't believe you saved all this stuff. Of course I did. It's you. Number 7. Sheldon's dad inspires him. The final season of the show focuses a lot on Sheldon and Amy's research that eventually earns them a Nobel Prize, but it doesn't come without struggle. Hi. Hi. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing? Like what my career has come to? Thanks a lot. Just when Sheldon is about to give up, Amy helps light a spark in him by showing him a video of his younger self that turns into one of his father coaching football. In the video, we see him telling his players to not give up, despite the fact that they'll lose, as they can learn from this as much as they could from any victory. You learn as much about who you are and what you're made of 
from failing as you do from success. Maybe more. Sheldon has never shied away from the fact that his relationship with his father was far from perfect, but seeing him thank his dad and embrace his advice shows he's forgiven him. Thanks, Dad. We're gonna give him hell. Number six, the group sings to Bernadette. Howard's musical moments are some of the most memorable on the show, and this group effort for Bernadette is a treat to watch. When Bernadette gets exposed to a raccoon virus, she's forced to spend her and Howard's anniversary in quarantine, and Howard has to switch his plans for the celebration. He'd planned to perform a song with the rest of the gang at a fancy restaurant, but instead, they take their performance to her ward and perform outside her window. I'd be an atom without a bomb, a dog without the calm, and I'd probably still live with my mom. And he probably still live with his mom. We don't know what's more adorable, Howard's piano playing, his witty lyrics, or the rest of the group harmonizing in the background. But we can't get enough of this cute scene. Number 5. Sheldon Sees Amy's Wedding Dress it's no secret that Amy's style has always been somewhat questionable, and when she goes wedding dress shopping with Penny and Bernadette, the one she picks leaves them speechless, and not in a good way. Do you love it? Do you? <laughs> I do! Wow. Their thoughts on the dress leave Amy wondering whether she's made the right decision or not, but when Sheldon accidentally sees her in it, all of her doubts wash away. Sheldon doesn't normally express loving emotions towards Amy as often as she'd like, but when he does, it's very special. Wow! <laughs> you look beautiful! Aww. Really? While Sheldon and Amy's first time together is also a very wholesome moment, it's Sheldon telling her she looks beautiful that makes us feel like a pile of swans. Well, you look like a pile of swans. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. Number four, Sheldon's speech. The finale of The Big Bang Theory has no shortage of happy tears. After infuriating all of his friends during their trip to Sweden, Sheldon has a change of heart and remembers what's really important to him. Inspired and tolerated, not only by my wife, but by the greatest group of friends anyone ever had. In a surprisingly selfless moment, he acknowledges all his friends and turns their attention towards them when accepting his awards. Howard. Bernadette, Raj, Penny, Leonard. I apologize if I haven't been the friend you deserve. This moment was 12 years in the making, is well worth the wait, and is arguably even more meaningful after the Young Sheldon episode that premiered following it. It shows that all Young Sheldon wanted was a group of friends like the ones he'd eventually have, and he'd eventually achieve everything he'd ever wanted. But I want you to know in my way. I love you all. Number three, Penny sits in the bathroom with Sheldon. While Sheldon may have initially been unsure about Penny, their relationship eventually grows into one of the closest bonds on the show. I hope you didn't think you were gonna get through tonight without a hug. You know, I used to hate these hugs. Now they're just extremely irritating. When Sheldon's friends insist on giving him a party, he hides in the bathroom out of fear. Even though Leonard or Amy may have been the logical choice to talk Sheldon down, it's Penny who steps up. Well, he's seen me without pants on. Again, Okay, no. this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sheldon? Can I come in? She sits with him as they talk about their friendship, and she tells him that she'll do whatever he wants for his birthday, even if that means hiding away, because she loves him. It's gratifying to see how far they've both come in their relationship with one another, and this scene encompasses the spirit of their friendship. There was a time I never would have been friends with someone like you, and now you are one of my favorite people. So if what you need is to spend your birthday in a bathroom, I'm happy to do it with you. Number two, Sheldon and Leonard sitting outside the dressing room. Sheldon and Leonard's relationship is at times tumultuous, but the tender moments they share are always great to watch. When Leonard decides it's time for him to move in with Penny, both he and Sheldon get emotional at the thought of not living together anymore. Come on, don't get upset. I'm not upset. I'm just 
imagining a world without my best friend in it. They talk about the compromises they've made for each other and make a final one in which they ease into the move at a pace that works for the, all of them. I'm aware of how difficult I can be, so I just want to say thank you for putting up with me. Buddy. There's no shortage of pure moments between all the boys as we see after Leonard's nose surgery and when Raj and Howard express their love at the planetarium. But this vulnerable exchange is a feel-good moment that we won't soon forget. There we go. Compromising again. <laughs> we really are the best. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Amy's present. Amy makes Sheldon his Mima's cookies and saves Christmas. They're perfect. It tastes like her hugs. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sheldon. Leonard comforts Sheldon when Professor Proton dies. Sheldon embraces Leonard while grieving the death of his favorite TV scientist. Did you know that Arthur's son is a high school son? Penny's Christmas gift. Penny gets Sheldon a priceless gift and they share an adorable hug. Leonard, look, Sheldon's hugging me. <laughs> it's a Saturnalia miracle. Howard's launch. The gang holds hands as Howard boldly goes into space. This is it. Boldly go, Howard Wallowitz. Disclaimer in the group contract, Sheldon gives part of his profits to Howard and Bernadette's daughter's education. 25% of profits due to Sheldon Cooper will be allocated to a scholarship fund for the firstborn child of Howard and Bernadette Wallowitz. Sheldon, that's so nice. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Sheldon Comforts Howard Almost all members of the gang, Sheldon and Howard, are two that aren't particularly close, which makes this moment that much sweeter. When Howard gets a phone call informing him of his mother's death, no one really knows what to say. It was my aunt. Ma took a nap. She never woke up. Oh my God, Everyone hesitates to let Sheldon speak up, and we all share Penny's fears that he might say something insensitive. May I say something? Not right now, Sheldon. No, but I think it would be comforting. Buddy, no, it's okay. He surprises everyone by relating his tragedy to him losing his own father, and instead expresses support. While the gang reading multiple versions of a letter from Howard's estranged father is another moment that brings a tear to everyone's eye, it's this simple exchange that's the most unexpectedly wholesome. When I lost my own father, I didn't have any friends to help me through it. You do. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.